What's up guys? We're going to play some Resident Evil. <laughs> Today this is a HD remake of a remake of an HD remake <laughs> or something like that. It just came out today. It's $20 on Steam. I got the PC version, so I'm playing the PC version right now. I'm using my PS4 controller on my PC. So what we're going to do is we're going to play through this game. This is going to be a little bit of a guide of how to get through the game. Down in the description, you're going to see items that you need to get. Um, those are going to be linked to the parts in the video. So if you're looking for something, you don't remember where it's at, just click the click the item down below. And it'll take you straight to that point in the video. Otherwise, we're just going to make our way through this game. Uh, it's not going to be anything like super like fancy or anything like that. We're just going to have some fun with it. But it is definitely going to be a guide. So it's going to take you through what you need to do and how to get to the end relatively quickly so i'm not gonna probably spend too much time on some of the cutscenes. i may skip most of all of them i think we're gonna watch the first one here and then i'm just gonna kind of go through the game basically the motions of it what to expect and things like that so let's start this out i think the first thing i want to say right off the bat is circle button is your <laughs> is your um proceed button or your uh What's it called? Accept button. Um, and X is your cancel button. That's a little weird to get used to. But what I want to do is go to controls. I have my control set to original. So what the difference is between here is I think Silent Hill calls them 2D and 3D. But in this game, it's called alternate and original. So alternate is basically you can move around with your joystick and you kind of go in whatever direction it is. It's more fluid feeling. I guess is the best way to put it. Original is the tank controls. Uh, everyone knows them as tank controls. So I play it on the original and there's a really good reason why. And for me, it's because you can backstep. And the reason why backstep is so important is I don't carry my pistol around a lot. In fact, for most of the part, I kind of just run away from most zombies and backstepping is a really good way to do that. And you'll see that as I play if I can pull it off. <laughs> so we're going to back out of here. We're going to start a new game. <clears throat> so let's get into this and check out this new remake of a remake. So I have this set up like this, like I said, original here and then continue. This is basically your difficulty setting. So you got like climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. That's obviously hard, like going on a hike, good exercise, but not too strenuous. This is normal, like taking a walk. You can relax and enjoy yourself. If I remember right, there's no difference in the game between any of these uh, settings. So you could literally play it like this and you'll end up getting the game regardless of what setting you're playing. I don't think so. That might not be 100% true, but I'm pretty sure that's... I don't think back then in this game they had that problem. Uh, I always wanted to see what it said on these like little little readings, like what like up there says. Such may make arrests, carry firearms, conduct investigations, and perform other law enforcement duties as provided by federal law and regulation. So this is like goofy stuff. Uh, I think we're gonna go through this on normal because the game isn't too difficult, and we're gonna play Jill's first. We'll do Chris's afterwards. Uh, I love Chris's design in this game and in Code Veronica X. I think he looks more realistic. I think the new version of Chris is just like freaking roided up Chris. He's like just huge <laughs> compared to these versions. So he definitely got like a big turn, but he's supposed to be younger in these games. I mean, look at Jill. Jill looks like she's like 16 years old. <laughs> so let's do this. Jill Valentine. So let's check out this. I'm going to be quiet on this first cutscene uh, while you guys watch it. So. <clears throat> Just check it out. Uh, the opening to one of the first Resident Alpha Evil games ever made. Around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare.
Press this way. Umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A. Oh, yeah, enter the survival horror. I love that line. That's so cool. So let's get ready. There's only three of us. At least there's only three of us here. That looks really pretty. One of the first things you notice is if you ever played the original, this game looks way better. So we're going to skip this. <laughs> we're gonna skip that. Basically, they talk about a bunch of stuff. Wesker has one of the coolest voices. We didn't get to hear it really there. We got to hear it for a couple seconds, I guess, in the cutscene. He has, like, I think he has one of the coolest voices. But um, his character is just crazy. <laughs> they turned him into a crazy dude in this game. Um, I always thought her shoulder armor was hilarious. That's one of the, f like, <laughs> it's just funny looking to me. I don't know why. <laughs> but, um, so if you've never played a Resident Evil game, this is what tank controls are called. Basically, you move around like this, you hold the run button. And what I'm talking about back step is like this. Uh, like this. If a, if a zombie attacks you and you back step, it'll more than likely miss and then you can just run around them. The other thing to note in this game is if you never played a Resident Evil game, this is the first time ever checking one out, these green uh, things that look like wrapped cheese <laughs> is actually ink ribbon. You pick it up and then you put it in the typewriter and then that's your save system. Usually every one of these has three, so you get three saves for every pickup. The only problem is, is it's freaking stuck in your inventory until you can find a place to put it. So the very first thing we do is we run around this dining room and they did a really good this. job of uh, they did a really good job of making it look prettier. Uh, this is definitely like way better than you way better looking than the original Resident Evil game. And I think they did a great job with that. It's just really pretty. And I really like it. And it really puts a different mood to it. Because the first game I remember as a kid, I played it. And it was scary to me, but I was little. But then I played it when I was a little bit older. And the game was a lot more corny. And they took out a lot of the corny lines in this game, if I remember right. Which sucks, because that, that stuff was like dear to my heart, you know? Kind of things I, I really liked. They take it out, especially the bad voice acting. Holy cow. I, I wish they left the bad voice acting. It would be hilarious. So the first thing you want to grab on the item list is this right here. It's this crest or emblem, that's what they call it, I believe. And then it talks about stuff. You can examine items on your screen. Examining items are very important because that's what lets, leads you to finding uh, maybe other items and things. And you'll see that right here pretty soon. So let's go to the first uh, most iconic scene in Resident Evil or in zombie horror. Really, one of the most iconic scenes. Definitely in the Resident Evil series for sure. So, this is where it all begins, right here. You, you kind of see a resemblance from RE4 in this scene. <clears throat> I love how they left that background black like that, because I always thought that made it look creepier. That's so cool. I think that's one of the coolest parts. So you can kill this guy if you want, or you can just uh, let Barry do it. <laughs> and we're going to let Barry do it. One, conserve ammo, and two... Uh, this cutscene's funny. <laughs> Barry! What is it? Look out! Barry, oh my god! I love the way he what shoots this gun, it's hilarious. I'm an old school. That's how you're like taught to shoot a gun. I got a firing range. <laughs> and definitely one of those guns, jeez. Reality, if it's like no any other uh, gun like that in kidding. Resident Evil, it'd be in one shot. Thing. Let's report this to Wesker. And that clock ticking is so good. It just sets the mood. So right now you're supposed to go back into the into the foyer area. And you're supposed to be looking for Wesker. So there's a little neat kind of thing you can do here. You go back this way. It's not, it's not super neat, I guess. <laughs> but it is um it is a speedrunner's trick, I believe. Still use. So what, you, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to wander around this area for a certain amount of time until you find, or until you find out that Wesker's Wesker! not here, right? He's gone. He's kind of off doing his thing. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. <laughs> Good idea. So here we go. All you have to do, if I can run the right way, is go up the stairs, turn around, go back down the stairs. 
And that usually will be like, we look for Wesker. <laughs> Didn't find Jack Squat. Instead of just wandering around and stuff. You're supposed to like run behind the staircase and all that other stuff. Just run up the stairs and down and makes it a little quicker. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then I'll try the door on the other side. <laughs> you in that dining room, Barry? Jesus. gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Uh, so there was a corny line here, and I think they took it out. I almost forgot. It's he calls her the lockpick master, but they take it out of this. Instead, they say you better think use this. I'm like, no, call her the lockpick master. <laughs> I remember right. That's what he says in the original. I could be wrong though. If I'm if I'm wrong, correct me. But I'm pretty sure he's like, he's like, since you're the lockpick master, here you better better use of this. It's funny the way he says it in the original game. Really check out the dialogue. It's hilarious. So, oh, from here you want to actually uh, go back the way you came. Even though he's like, I'm gonna go to the dining room. You're gonna go back to the dining room too. <laughs> and we're gonna go past that zombie we just saw. Like, that, that clock is awesome. I love it. I'm going to say it every time I hear it. We're going to go past this guy that uh, Barry killed for us. Kind of open up the way. And what we're going to get is what we call... The, we're going to the golden room. The golden room with the golden arrow. <clears throat> and this is going to be useful to getting into the, the under... The catacombs, I guess is what you would call it. In the graveyard, so... This area looks very... Look how it's, I've always was amazed in the Ishii version how these green herbs just like stand out. They look like tulips. Uh, they look like tulips without the flower. They just stand out a lot. So I like that though because in some... Like I was playing Goat Veronica on the PS Now and I could not see a green herb for the life of me. It was so blended in. It was just nuts. So let's head up through this room. And this should lead us to the gold room. Well, it will lead us. So... To the, if you go straight, it goes back into the dining room. If I, oh no, it goes into the trap. So if you go, sh if you go, okay, this zombie ain't gonna get up. If you go into that door right there, whatever you do, don't go up the stairs and pick up the key because you'll start a trap and you won't have a way to out of the trap. So here, let's see if I can sh show off the back step. If I can get him to attack. <laughs> he just threw himself on me. That's not a. It's not a good example of that at all. I don't like you. That. Man, he is all over me. You can probably hear me clanking the crap out of my controller. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, that was a bad example of that. So, what we're going to do... I can't believe he's not dead. That's amazing. Uh... There we go. There, I, I unlocked an achievement. For that that crap. We're gonna go grab this real quick and use it because I am not feeling good. This is how you heal. You get green herbs. Like I'm in caution over there. You see my heartbeat right below. It says caution. Just pick one of these up, and now I'm fine. Fine is a good stat to be in. In reality, I, let me unequip this because I think. If I remember right, you move a little faster with stuff unequipped. Not saying that's the reason why I got attacked there. <laughs> so for the most part, uh, there's the arrow I want right here. This is the arrow that we came to pick up. That's the whole reason we're over here. And then if you keep, you can pick up this ammo if you really want to. There's some, and there I think there was ammo down by that bird cage on the stairs. So if you, if you need to, you can grab that one too if you like. If you're gonna run around and kill everything. There's no reason not to. Yeah, the only time you're gonna hear me slam on the controller is if I get hit get by, hit by a zombie or grabbed by a zombie. So this is the upper foyer area. So the dining room is right below us where we were a minute ago. And we're gonna grab this dagger. So this dagger is pretty cool because now when you're grabbed by an enemy, using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs from behind. To equip the defensive item, go to the status screen and then you can equip it. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the control settings, you must press LB. Left bumper. Use it. I believe it's not. I believe I have it on automatic, so it should just do it. 
it's a pretty cool animation. Something that's not in the first Resident Evil, if I remember right. Um, basically takes the knife and stabs it in the zombie. And apparently you have like an infinite amount or something. Because you have quite a bit. So we're going to head down this stairs right here. And this door is kind of hard to see. But there is a door right here. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see the handle on the left side. But anyways, that's where we're going to go. Lightning is That lightning is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, as you notice, it's like made into it. And this leads to a graveyard. That has cool sound effects. It makes you think you're going to be fighting bugs. But you're not. Okay, we'll go this way. I still love, like, you can tell. Like, right here, you're going to see it, especially after I open this up. So what happens here is you get to this, and then you realize this tomb needs an arrowhead. Well, I have an arrow, but not an arrowhead. You just examine it. And then what you do is you push examine again, and then... She's like, wait a minute, this can be removed. And then now you get the item you need. So we back out of this. And then if you want, you can back out all the way, but you can just use it right here. Then that saves some time. So like what I was saying a minute ago was you can tell the background is still an image and she's walking along it. Because like if you look at, watch when she goes down here, you can see that like, like you can kind of tell it looks like she doesn't belong here. The perspective's not right. Right? It just doesn't look right. But anyways, I just think that's a cool little tid. Cool little tidbit of information. But this is a creepy ass room. <laughs> those stat those faces on there I think is creepy as hell. The chain clicking is just nuts and it, it's just really it's a really good vibe in this room. So, I think it's Book of Curse or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good name for a book. This is another item you can examine. Might as well do it right now. Turn it to the back. Boom, look at that key. Grab that. That's really the reason you're here. So this is, uh, open it up. Let's read what it says. Book of Curses, the four masks. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> so I believe they're talking about these right here. Uh, these are... These look like what it's speaking of, but not what you're going to be using them for. So it's a hint for something. Definitely. It's a hint that Jill doesn't need those shoulder pads because that's just hilarious. Hey, look. I always wondered when I was looking at this, like, where did that arrowhead go? And then if you really look at it, you can see it. It's in the top part right there. I always was like, where the hell did that thing go? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go up here. And remember, when you're playing this, you don't have to do it this fast. You can explore a little bit more. Like I said, I'm just trying to show you all how to get through the game. So if you're stuck, you know where to go. You can watch the video and check it out. You know, that's that's really what the point of this is. Not so much that I'm going to be exploring as much. Uh, I do believe I go down now and then I go through the right side. Well, I would consider right if you're facing the stairs, this would be the right side or the east side of the mansion. And then what we're going to be trying to get here is the chemicals for the I call it the plant boss but it's not really a boss at all it's more of an obstacle in the original version it looked like a boss when you first see it and you didn't know you had to use chemicals to get rid of it you think you'd have to like shoot it or something but there's a better way to get rid of it that's creepy <laughs> that that actually startled me a bit and you know, I knew it was coming that's what's sad so let's get this uh, chemical. So the doors that the chemicals are usually behind, which I'm going to show you in a, in a second. That's a cool picture. Is this door right here. These are lockpicked doors. So as long as you have a lockpick, you should be able to, I think, open most of these. But what I was going to say is these doors that are really plain looking and it has the little, like, cut at iron shape on the top usually lead outside in this mansion like that. Those kind of doors usually lead outside. Kind of look banged up and stuff anyways. <clears throat> this area has a ton a ton of herbs so if you're ever like in need of herbs this is a good place to come uh, i usually i leave them unless i need them that's what i usually do with my herbs so i just kind of remember where they're at and then whenever i need to grab one i'll have them there to grab i just go back and get them <clears throat> whenever i'm playing like a regular playthrough obviously if you're speed running this you don't want to do that so the next thing you want to do is you want to grab uh i believe it's um it's a lighter and it's a dog whistle, if I remember right. And they're over here. So just continue down the hallway you were going. 
and there's a reason why we need that dog whistle and that's and it's exactly what you're thinking <laughs> is exactly the reason why you're thinking you're like why would i ever want to whistle for those well there's a reason as dumb as it is there's a reason for this this maniac plan here's run by this asshole no one likes you man oh no okay so there's a zombie up here that will try to grab you right around this corner See how that back step helped there? And then you can just uh, run right around him. That was kind of sloppy, but that's kind of what the use is. That's what I'm talking about when you can back step and then swing around him. It's a little tough to get used to, but it is possible to do. Uh, I believe this one more goes this way. Yeah, here, I think this is it. I think. I think. <laughs> can't really see this. Yeah, this is it. So you can't really see that door from back here. There is, however, a lighter here. Yes, I do. And then there is another door there, but we don't want to worry about that door. And then there is a, a like a dog whistle or something here. Yeah. Okay. We're loaded up. Rumble note. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal, like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling, which means only you can put this on the collar, the object that Sir Spencer wants hidden and concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get hold of will make for your services i just might be able to get it for you this could be this could work out well for both of us joe tolman so that's kind of an idea of what's coming up next i grab this real quick another pistol pistol ammo just in case you never know in fact i'm pretty close after i do some stuff i'm probably gonna be putting the pistol up i'm not gonna really need it same with the knife but for now we'll keep it so we gotta head this way, this way. There's some stuff banging, it's kind of creepy. Then we use the mansion key, and sooner or later I'm gonna end up back on the foyer. I don't know if it's this door or if it's the next one, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it's, it was that one. Um, so now that we got those items, we want to head back across the foyer, <laughs> and we want to head in here, I believe, because what we were trying to do. I think it's not here. It's not here. I'm sorry. I went too far. I want to be back in the foyer. I actually want to go back. Uh, I want to follow what that memo said, which means I got to go over here. Not that door. You want to come back actually around this way. You got to kill this dog. Ooh, that's creepy. I, I always freak out at that. That's her, but it always freaks me out. Um, we want to equip this right now because it's the only time I'm going to really need my gun. It's this door you want to go to. Uh, what? I uh, for sure that was the door. Is it? Oh, maybe it is the other one. Oh, look, I'm lost again. It's one of these doors. <laughs> I'll get it here in a second. I believe maybe it is this one. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, God, it's not those doors. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta go there in a minute. I gotta go back across this way first. I'm a moron. Let's go back here. Not that door, because I believe that's the door. Whichever door is locked is the one. Yeah, there, this is the one you want to go through. The very far left one. Should lead to another door, like I said, that looks like an outside door. It should be like right here. Yeah, okay, so look, there's another door that leads outside. Okay, you're about to hit like your first like boss fight, quote unquote, sub boss fight, I guess you can say, in the game. Uh, so what you want to do is the best way to do this, I believe, is to sit right here uh, below this whistle, right? Then that gun up. <laughs> and then get attacked. <laughs> Now, you don't have to kill this other dog, but what's cool is, uh, you don't have to. 
But these herbs right here, I think they grow infinitely. Oh no, the reload. There we go. So you see the dog collar drop from the dog. Now if you go over here, you can grab this. There are green herbs growing here, but there's only enough for a few uses. So you get to use those. It's not infinite. Like it says it has a few uses, but you definitely get to some oh man, I have too much I have too much on me. Should have saw this problem coming. <laughs> okay, so the best way to handle this is you can, that's how you should handle it. <laughs> that's so dumb. It's like, oh you probably don't need that now. So let's head back through here. Now I can pick it up because I got rid of the dog whistle. Right, so now I got this. And then if we examine it, it's cool looking, right? Oh, it looks like there's something there. The switch, will you press it? Yes. I thought this was pretty cool because this thing comes out and then you're like, what is that? And it says it's a coin. And then you can look at the coin. What? Oh, I guess maybe you can't do it here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You had to look at the back side. So now it's a key. And if you notice, it looks like the armor key. But it's if you go to, I believe if you go to an armor door, it doesn't work. This is an imitation. So there's something we got to do with it first. What do we got to do with it first? Uh, do I want to go do that? Let me, let me keep the gun for just a little bit. Because this little next area... After you get the key, can be a little rough. And you want to go, I believe, right here. Because you're going back to the gold room. Now, remember that room I said there was a trap in that you don't want to go in there yet? And whatever you do, don't pick up the item in there. That's where we're headed right now. As you notice, this, this area is still empty. But uh, it gets pretty crazy here in a sec. Oops, went too far. You can see that guy's still dead. That guy gets up. That's creepy how fast he gets up. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, so this is a. You'll see the trap as you walk past it in here. Um, you see that thing right there? It's obvious, right? And it's got these little trail marks that lead over here. It's like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> so there's there's a key here. Oh come on, game. Like really? Inventory problems. This is the biggest problem with Resident Evil. <laughs> The original Resident Evil is your inventory. I don't remember. I remember having to drop anything. I don't know what I have too much of. I think it's the pistol ammo. Carrying too much of it around. Because usually I don't have a problem when I'm trying to speedrun these games. I'm not very good at it. Oh my god. <laughs> Kill him. You just let him bite you. There's another one like right around this corner. Oh, that guy was jetting. Do you see that? That's creepy. That was creepy looking. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that kind of freaked me out. I wasn't expecting him to look like that. Uh so oh, look, there's another zombie here. There's a there's a chest room down here, so I'm just going there real quick to drop some stuff off that I know I'm not gonna need. I'm, i I would have done this originally before. This is creepy right here, watch. Is he gonna do it? He's gonna do it when I cross this way. That's creepy. Oh, I didn't do it yet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Man, they are they are being jerks today. It's that normal mode. <laughs> All right. Uh, this guy's gonna. <laughs> I don't care about that. Hey, let me in here. This is a chest room. So these are what they call safe rooms or whatever in Resident Evil where you can save and you have a bunch of options to do things. So apparently I probably shouldn't get rid of my gun, but I'm going to. I'm going to get rid of some things here. Uh, my gun is going away. My knife will be going away. My ammo will be going away. And the mansion key I don't think I'm going to be needing either. I need any of those. I can always come back and get them. And anywhere there's a room with another chest in it, you you have those items there too. It's kind of weird. There is an item here though I want. 
believe. Or not. I thought there was a serum here. Huh. Okay, maybe... Maybe there isn't. Special instruction for the disposal body. We have new information regarding these beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, these are two known methods to cease their resurrection. Inspiration, destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still live, have to will to live, oil has been placed on the floor before the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll find by yourself. For yourself. I'm serious. I thought there was um uh serum there. I was for sure there was serum there. Maybe they uh oh. Maybe they changed something here. Maybe I'm just not seeing it correctly. No, it's usually here. It's usually Okay, well I'll leave that at that. What was in this chest by the way? There was a first aid kit thing. There's some ink ribbon. More ammo. It condensed this ammo. I don't like when it's like that. I'm all I'm a very neat freak, as you can tell. <laughs> These have to be a certain way. Okay. So we're gonna head out of here and see how long I can survive. Usually outside of these rooms there's there's um green herbs, but apparently not in this one. Hopefully that guy's actually dead. Now that I have room, I can head back to that that uh, trap room. This is where I'm going right now. This is going to be pretty tough right here, actually, because... Oh, I have an idea. So remember, I always say, I remember where my green herbs are. <laughs> I remember where they're at. And grab some green herbs right here in this infinite pot. Uh, it's not actually infinite, but I call it infinite. And there we go. Back to normal. I like playing the game this way. I don't like using weapons too much. I don't know. It's just the way I like playing it because it, it gives it a more of a thrill to me than, you know, just running around and shooting everything. The way I played it when I was young. When I played it young, I, I, I ran around and shot everything. Like, everything I moved, it was getting shot. <laughs> Regardless of any any reasoning or rhyme or anything. If I saw a shadow, I shot it. Because this game spooked me when I was little. When I grew up, like I said, it turned into a corny kind of game. And then that's when I kind of fell in love with just, uh, just trying to run by everything. There's going to be that guy here still. You can see him in the mirror right there. You see him? That's creepy. That's some creepy shit. I don't care what anyone says. And he's like puking. Okay, so these guys are super fast, apparently. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. I oh, yeah, made by. That is a fast zombie. Not something I was expecting at all, actually. I wonder if that's something that uh, easy mode gets rid of, or those zombies like that. Or if they don't get them until later in the game. Something I'm going to have to look into later. So now we're back at this trap. So what happens here is you're supposed to grab this and then freak the hell out <laughs> and be like, oh, what's going on? What are you going to do? At first, I thought those were going to come all the way in. And then this thing comes up behind you like pretty quick. You're supposed to uh, imitation key, right? Just use that. That's the one you got from the dog collar. And I love how everything backs away right here. It's like, shh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Let's just never mind. Then we need that key because that's the real key. And you see that backing away, like, oh no, okay. All right. So now what you're supposed to do is we're gonna do a cool little thing. Get this as early as possible because it is super important. I'm gonna grab this too while we're at it. So I got bit. Things that are gonna make my inventory fuller than it should be. The good thing about the green herbs, though, is you can eat them and get rid of them. I don't think there's a way to discard items. If there is, please tell me, because <laughs> I don't think there is. That sounds not good. Do I want to go this way? No, where am I going? This isn't right. I'm sorry. Oh. Man, that sounds horrible down there. Whatever that is needs to stay away from me. <laughs> this game 
is infinitely better than the original version. Fuck you, dude. Look how fast he is. He's super fast. He's the Usain Bolt of zombies. <laughs> hey, jeez, man. He has a prowler. He's trying, to, he's trying to get that Joe booty. Joe ain't gonna let that happen, though. Who does, who does Jill even like? I don't even remember anymore. I don't think she likes anyone. I know Claire liked Steve <laughs> for like one game. Oh, that was so weird. That's such a weird game. Steve is such a weird character in Code Veronica. You ever play Code Veronica? She, he's a weird character. So you like start out not liking him, and then you kind of don't like him for most of the game, and then at the end you feel sorry for him. <laughs> this is really weird. Like out of nowhere. So over here... Is a cool weapon that you're gonna want. There's some more bullets right there if you're still using the pistol. And then you're gonna go this way. I remember when I was little, this part scared me. Jill, don't Barry scare didn't scare me. me. Speak for yourself, Barry. What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. It's cool that lighting up there. Well, uh, the moths. I think you should take a look at this. Take a look at it. It's not pretty. This was creepy when I saw it. I was like, ugh. Uh, it's bosque. <laughs> He's been pecked. What could have done this to him? God only knows, but I'm gonna find out what did this to him. I believe it was crows or ravens or something. Jill, could you investigate other areas? That was an intentional booty yeah, shot by sure. Capcom. I'm not gonna lie, you know it's true. Jill, this is no oh, by the way. We don't know what's going to happen. Take it with you. All right. Oh yes. <laughs> so now we got the grenade launcher. Will you take it? Yes, I will. If I failed that, I'd have been pissed. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Is this serum down there now? Maybe it's a thing that only appears after a certain point. I gotta go check because. I swear there's supposed to be a serum down there. I don't know if it's... Do I need to read something to get it? That might be what it is. I may have to read something to grab it. And I was supposed to read something like the other side of the room or something. I have to make sure I go check that out before I continue. Too far. It might be something over there. I think it's on the other side. I think it's over there. But I'm not sure. Let me go see again. I have to go down there anyways. Mm, actually, not really. Oh, I do got to go down the pass that way, so... That is true. I do gotta go that way. So we're gonna head back over to that that um, that stupid room with the staircase that has the railing that blocks half the room up. The room with the dogs, basically. This room right here. <laughs> because this really think about it. Look how stupid this room is. Like why, why? That's creepy right there. That's creepy. Why have this here? Why have this here? <laughs> why make me run all the way around? It opens up here. Oh, I thought it opened up. Oh, there it, it opened right there. That's creepy. <laughs> you hear me say creepy like 500 times. Just a zombie, though. You can tell by the moan, it's just a stupid zombie. All right. Yeah, I think I need to read something for this. So I may have to do that uh, next time when we get back on. But I'm going to go do something real fast before I head over. Actually, yeah, let's end it right here because it's a good place to stop um what i'm going to do is i'm going to save in between these points and save rooms like this so that way when uh, i can get off and come back on without having to continuously make episodes straight through uh, so this is kind of the very beginning of this game there's a lot more up ahead in fact the next thing i think we're going to do is we're going to take on the the obstacle with the plant and putting the chemical in the water so that will be the next thing but uh guys i hope you enjoyed the guide Please uh, like if you like this video and uh, definitely check you out for part two where we get to play a little more Resident Evil. Later, guys.